North Norfolk Radio, we're welcoming my special guest, Melita Morgan, local actress from Aylesham, and we're talking about uh, the, the new film you're in. It's called Mr Lonely. Mm. It's uh, doing the circuit at the moment. It's been international as well. Who stars in it? Um, Samantha Morton, the beautiful Samantha Morton. Uh, Anita Pallenberg, she was fabulous. Uh, James Fox, Diego Luna, um, Werner Horzog, uh, even David Blaine has um, a small cameo role in it. My, right. my little girl Angel, I must mention my little girl Angel because she came away filming with me. She even got a small little tiny pot in, in the movie. So, yeah, it's a, it's, there's a lot of big movie names in it, but I didn't know who they really were but, um, until I came back and researched them. So, <laughs> and then the penny dropped. Uh, I actually thought it was going to be a student film. I didn't realise it was a big movie. When I, right. Even when I took the role. Yeah. It wasn't until they said, oh, well, we'll take your daughter and we'll pay for her tuition and flights and everything. And I thought, they really, they really do actually want me for this role, you know. And I, but I didn't have a clue that it was going to be an international, like, Hollywood-type movie. Sure. I, I really had no clue at all. And filming took you to Scotland, is that right? Yes, that took me to the highlands of Scotland. Very beautiful. I... I feel I developed a lot as a person, not just as an actress from, from my time there. Yeah. Um, and just, just explain your role again. What's I'm, I play the role of a Madonna in person. I don't play Madonna herself. Mm -hmm. I play the role of a, a lady who has lost her own sense of self. She's like trying to escape from who she is. Mm -hmm. And basically the moral of this, the whole story about Mr. Lone is that it teaches us that no matter how much we maybe hate our life or how bad life goes for us or we, we may not like ourselves or who we are and we could we can change our look we can have cosmetic surgery we can move house we can move area but you're born who you are and you die who you are so it's best to try and you know try and love yourself for who you are don't you know try and make the most of your time here mm -hmm. you know Real reality, it's yeah. a, you know. Well, certainly it's a film that must have changed your life a bit because it's, it's actually taking you onto the red carpet in in London. Yes, I ha had my first trip up the red carpet at Leicester Square. I mean, apparently you haven't made it as an actress unless you've, you know, had your premiere at Leicester Square. So, yes, I did. That was very exciting. And what was that experience like? Was it getting out of the car, walking down the carpet, people cheering, that sort of thing? Um, it was like that, but I have to be different. I'm traditional Norfolk girl I, I was more happier behind the barriers with the public mingling with the public before I went onto the red carpet I was actually happier like that <laughs> uh, I felt really comfortable there um, I think for some reason they warmed to me more for that but it wasn't what I did it for I felt yeah. I just felt more comfortable um, but it was an experience I have to say and okay and so it's on the circuit at the moment so if people want, want to see it it's presumably showing all over is it yeah. all over the world it's at limited uh, cinemas it's not like in every single cinema but, but it's virtually in every town and city and it, and it will be now slow on slow release so it'll come out you know as and when I've looked on the internet and I've told from been told from the film company that it is being screened but just about everywhere it comes to Norwich however at Cinema City which is cinem um, Nor Norfolk's premier cinema house um have to say that because they've been so kind to host my own red carpet premiere there are other cinemas around i hasten to add so yes there, there are there yeah. are but yes. um i have yes but it's, it's covered the cinema city yes so people will be able to find it there yes uh, on the 30th so. of april i'm having my own red carpet premiere there uh -huh. in the evening uh, but if the if uh, the people of norfolk would like to come and see the movie on the 8th of may i'm doing a special screening there for the public where you can I will introduce the movie and then do a question and answer session afterwards. So it's the 8th of May, but you'd have to contact, um, obviously, Cinema City for that. For, for details on that one. That's brilliant. OK, so that's this film. Anything else in the pipeline? Has Hollywood come, come I've got, again? I've got, well, I, it's not necessarily Hollywood, but it's certainly independent film, which I love. I've got the role of an alcoholic mother to play in June, July time. Um, and I've played... Um, I've been with Bob Geldof in a, in a film called I Am Bob, which I did uh, last year, uh -huh. uh, and an advert for AXA Insurance. So, so things are looking good. Yeah, it's, I think now I've got the listing on the International Movie Database and a couple of really good uh, London agents. Then, slowly but surely, I might take the options of... But I, I won't jump into anything. I, at the end of the day, I'm a mother, and I take that role very seriously. And I've got Angel to consider. She's only ten, so I've, you know I have to balance. Of course, it it all up. <laughs> of course, well, look, many thanks for coming with us. Thank you, Dick, and thank you to everybody in North Nor North Norfolk who has um, supported me, and um, not just the media, the, the local people. Everybody in Norfolk has been so supportive. 
uh, throughout all of years. They've given me a chance to perform at their parties years ago, and now they're supporting me now. I'm, I'm very lucky, and, and I feel very honoured to have their support. And I feel it's genuine support, too. Brilliant. Well, good luck with the future as well. Thank you, Dickie. Thank you.